about what you were told. What happened that day when the fire marshals arrived? So, from my understanding, is that we had a number of police officers sitting on the uh, uh, on the patio, I believe, and, and uh, we are feeding all the first responders for free right now. So, we get a number of police officers and fire department as we normally do. Since '84, we've been giving 50% discounts to all first responders, so this is nothing new for us. Um, from what we understand, a fire uh, somebody from the fire department came in and, and informed my manager that uh, he needed to ask the police officers to leave, and, and he didn't feel really comfortable doing that. Uh, so I believe she went out there and asked them to leave. And then my, my understanding is about 15 minutes later, another set of police officers were there, and, and some fire marshals came, asked them to leave, and wrote us a notice of a uh, violation, I believe is what it's called. Uh, you know, we were uh, surprised about it, but if it is what it is, uh, uh, if we're in violation, we'll take the notice. So that's where that's what my understanding was. I mean, it's, it's a tough call. Obviously, you guys are doing your best to sure. uh, serve the public, but at the same time, stay within uh, code. You, your thoughts to all of this? My thoughts, did you ask for my thoughts? I'm sorry. Yeah, your thoughts to all of this. Well, you know, uh, first and foremost, let me say that uh, right now, I mean, we all have to be about community. And it was a little bit surprising, especially, you know, from first responders, because it, it, right now this is the time for us to band together. Number one, we're, we're able to feed these first responders for free from April 1st to May 2nd because of the generosity of an anonymous, an anonymous donor in the area. It shows what community does. So certainly we were a bit surprised by this. Uh, we didn't expect to see the, the firestorm that's created, uh, uh, pardon the term, but, uh, but the way we feel on this is it, it does not change our respect and our support for the Houston Fire Department whatsoever. Uh, we've been supporters of them since 84. Uh, we've been a tremendous uh, supporter throughout the restaurant. And uh, uh, we've sponsored golf tournaments, things like that. And that won't change even slightly the way we feel about the Houston Fire Department. Uh, we respect them greatly. Um, is, are you guys, um, does the manager know now if that happens again to tell officers they can't sit from around what there? I, or? From what I've heard, uh, my manager's understanding is that if this does happen again, that uh, he will go to jail. This is the understanding that, that he had from the visit from the fire marshal. Mm -hmm. and it, I, I mean, it's, do you think that's a little much? or? Uh, yeah, I believe it's a little a little much. You know, we, we uh, I understand rules are rules. Uh, we try to abide by the rules, and we, we have, just like every restaurant in the city of Houston, we have tried. We've tried our best to do everything we can to stay within what seems to be kind of a fluctuating guidelines. Uh, we're doing our best. And when we have officers out there that we see, with the fire department or police, we, we see what they're doing for the community. And we just want to be there to support. So, you know, certainly we're a bit surprised by that. And I, and, and maybe from what I hear, the, the, the wording was a bit harsh to my general manager. Uh, and, and certainly it has put a little bit of scare into him. Yeah. Um, what do you think should happen now or, I mean, your, your thoughts to moving forward? Well, our thoughts moving forward is uh, we have put the notice on our front counter so that folks know that when we ask them to not sit at the adjoining patio, which is a common area, uh, even though that's not technically our patio fully, we that we hope they understand when we say there's zero tolerance even for police officers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I hate to think of the thought that, that the officers would have to go sit in their cars and eat. Uh, in fact, from what I understand, the marshals informed my general manager that if the police officers go sit in their patrol car out in the parking lot, that we will be in trouble as well. Uh, that doesn't make much sense to me, but again, I'm not, it's not my call. Uh, but again, that doesn't seem very realistic to me and, and not something that we'd like to see. Uh, so that's, that's, that's where we are. We're just trying to abide by everything. We, we, uh, we're going to just try to be as diligent as we can about staying on everybody and saying absolutely.
absolutely, even police officers, as much as that pains us, uh, can't sit at, at any of the tables, even if they're waiting for their food. So that's that's where we are right now. Yeah, I guess it's a really tough situation for you guys because you want to be first responders, but then when it's the officers sort of breaking the rules and putting you guys in a tough spot, it's hard. Oh, it, it's extremely hard. You know, you know we're just a, a small family-owned business. It's been around since 1984. We have two little locations, and, and all we try to do is just try to do the right thing. Uh, as I said, since 84, we, we fed uh, all firemen, uh, or firefighters, uh, police officers, medical, for 50% off. And we've been doing that since since the beginning. So we're always committed to helping out and giving our support while we can. And uh, I, I, I hate to see that, that because of our little restaurant here, that there may be a little bit of an issue between these two groups that we respect so greatly. Yeah, that was my other thing, too. It seems like, you know, there is some uh, separation there between the firefighters and the police officers. It seems to be that way. And uh, the way we do in, in our business and in life is we just play our ball game. Uh, we're going to continue to serve the firefighters, the police, the medical, uh, the best that we can. And we have no interest in picking sides. We have no interest in getting in the middle of uh their business, which seems to be something that maybe have happened before this. Uh, we we have no ill will whatsoever towards either side. Uh, we just respect and want to uh, support both of them as much as we can. So uh, did you say that you guys put up a sign at the counter after the fire marshals arrived, notifying people no. not to sit there? What, what we put on the front counter was the actual notice of, of a violation. Uh, so when the when the fire marshals wrote the notice of violation, I believe it's called, uh, they said you don't have to display it. But we said no, we want to display it. So we took the notice that was written to us by the marshals, we put it on the front counter, so that again it was easier for us to explain to folks that we're not just telling them, this, you know, police officers and, and any other customer that attempts to try to sit down or even eat in their car, which we now understand they can't do either if they say we're not being fair at least we can show them look at this piece of paper it says we can it says you can't do this and and again uh from our understanding is there could be jail time if we don't police the police and the customers even if they're not on our premises Wow. Yeah, I guess it's crazy that it's gotten to that point where you have to police the police while you're trying to give them a free meal. That's not a position we want to be in. We, we don't want to police any of our first responders. All we want to do is thank them and do what we can for them. Wow. Okay. Do our little part. Um, so I'm guessing that's, that's how uh, this whole situation ended up on social media. Somebody took a picture of the notice and posted it. From what I understand, I received, uh, a, I guess, a screenshot of a post late last night and uh, I didn't think too too much of it uh, I thought well I guess somebody saw that and they weren't happy and then uh, I wake up this morning and, and there's been quite a response <laughs> throughout I mean it's uh, it's, it's gone pretty broad and uh, and getting pretty intense we again we play our ball game we're just trying to stay right ne stay neutral uh, keep doing what we do and uh, let the two sides figure it out. And uh, we've had a tremendous response and support today from the Houston Fire Department. There are uh, the firefighters that we've been had for many, many years have been coming in today uh, to come in, grab lunch, uh, uh, show their support, and it's really been amazing. And that's meant a lot to us.